Ada heads back to Caribbean waters, leaving death and destruction in Central America. As the remnants of Hurricane Ada moved back over Caribbean waters, governments in Central America worked to tally the displaced and dead, and recover bodies from landslides and flooding that claimed dozens of lives from Guatemala to Panama. It will be days before the true toll of Ada is known. Its torrential rains battered economies already strangled by the COVID-19 pandemic, took all from those who had little and laid bare the shortcomings of governments unable to aid their citizens and pleading for international assistance. Shortly after Honduran President Juan Orlando Hernandez asked neighboring Guatemala for help rescuing residents stranded near their shared border Thursday. Guatemalan President Alejandro Jamate said at least 50 people had been killed in landslides in his own country, most of them in a remote town rescuers struggled to reach. Guatemala's National Emergency Agency later said only that at least 50 people were missing in San Cristobal Verapaz. Story continues below U.S. National Hurricane Center forecast that parts of Nicaragua and Honduras could receive 15 to 25 inches of rain, with 40 inches possible in some isolated parts. A week of rain spoiled crops, washed away bridges and flooded homes across Central America.